Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. And I'm here today with this month's So Hayley Jane subscription box unboxing. <laughs> so this is the December box, the last box of 2023, and I'm super excited to share what is in here with you. So this is the classic box, which is £40 per month. There are three different levels of boxes. You could get a mini box, a classic box, or a luxury box. I always get the classic box. I started off with a mini box when I first subscribed to Hayley, but after a few months, I changed to the classic just so I had more freedom with what I could make with the fabric. In the mini box now, however, you do get one and a half meters of fabric rather than one meter. So it does provide a bit more flexibility, but I love getting my classic box. So you get two and a half meters of fabric. You get up to a meter of an additional fabric rather than the fat quarters, which you previously got, which is really exciting. And it's something different every month. And I love, I love that. Then you get a sweet treat you get matching thread for your fabric, you get a haberdashery or a small business item, and is that it? Oh, you get the magazine, which is full of amazing inspirational stuff, <laughs> including two articles by me. So, you know, let's open it up. You are always greeted by lovely, vibrant yellow tissue paper, and then all of your goodies are inside like so. So should we have a little look at does that balance there? Let's have a little look at the magazine. So it's issue 61 and the theme is stay cozy. So I'm loving this. This is me here with Chester cuddled up with me. Lovely pair of fluffy slippers, cup of tea. Love that. So in the magazine, Hayley always introduces it and talks about why she's chosen the theme and where her inspiration came from, as well as talking through what is going to be in the boxes. Yeah, and she's like rounding off this year and what a successful year it's been, which is really, really lovely. We've got an interview with Lucy, who runs a business called So Pretty, So Mindful, and she designs bag patterns. So that might be a little clue as to something that might be in the box. I look forward to reading that. <laughs> I've just noticed there's a, the title has been left over from last month. The title's not what the article is about, but never mind. So I now choose five different patterns or five ideas for what you could use your additional fabric for. So that's one of the articles that I write is giving you five different ideas for that additional fabric. Last month it was colour blocking and the title has remained in the magazine from then. But it's not about colour blocking this month. I'm giving you five festive ideas for what to do with your fabric. It's a metre of cotton. Should I just show you it now? Makes sense, doesn't it? So it's this gorgeous cotton, which has got a festive vibe to it because of the gold. But it's not in your face festive. It's purple and green on like a navy background. It's really gorgeous but I did think because it's this time of year because it's December some festive ideas would be nice so I'm sharing some different ideas for that. The make of the month is the Heather Blazer by Friday Pattern Company made by Liz. A gorgeous fully me made outfit on there. Then onto the three fabrics three makes so Esther has made an incredible kaftan because she's heading off to Nigeria for a trip. So she's made a gorgeous kaftan that would be suitable for her trip. And her fabric is, uh, oh, let's see. I think it's a viscose jersey. Yeah, I'm sure it's a viscose jersey, but it just looks absolutely gorgeous. The drape and the way that that fabric just flows and hangs is really beautiful. Then Gemma used the classic fabric and she's actually got the same colourway as me and she's made a gorgeous pair of trousers and she actually credits me as influencing this make. So she's made the Chandler pants by Untitled Thoughts, which I've made twice now, both in two different checky fabrics and I love them both. So I may just have to copy Gemma and make another pair with this fabric. Then Laura, with her one metre of fabric, made a gorgeous bag and it's the newest draft it yourself pattern by, by Hand London, which looks really gorgeous. It's the Marianne evening bag. Then my other article this month is an article of reflection. So I've looked back on some of my biggest achievements of the year and 
I've talked a bit about them. So I've talked about my gorgeous Northern Soul Sisters. I've talked about my sewing socials, my YouTube channel, and then also my work with Hayley. So hopefully you'll enjoy reading that. Then Hayley has sewn up the bag pattern that is in this month's box. So I mentioned Lucy earlier from So Pretty So Mindful. She has provided a pattern. So instead of a haberdashery gift this month, we get an actual pattern, which is amazing. And Hayley has made it up and she's used the additional fabric and it looks gorgeous. So I can't wait to read all about that. There's a wonderful makers gallery full of inspiration. As always, there's a profile of the month, which is Madeline, and she's made some gorgeous things. I love this. Is that the Zadie jumpsuit? I think it might be. It's really gorgeous. Ah, no, it's not. It's the spring jumpsuit by Soul of Patterns. Really, really lovely. And then some pattern picks from the fold line for what to make with your fabric. So they've suggested some loungewear patterns. And then there's a lovely spotlight on interview with Fove and Asma from this year's Sewing Bee. They've started a new venture together and they're very good friends, but they've also started a business venture. So I'll enjoy reading all about that. And then some links from Hayley. Uh, she suggested Wonka, which is a new movie that's just come out. I was supposed to see that on Friday night for my birthday and I had to cancel because I wasn't very well. So I really hope I do get to go and see that. And then you get your lovely planning sheet at the back and all of the things that are in the box. So let's have a little look. I've already shared this with you, which is the additional metre of fabric. So the classic and the luxury box, get that. The sweet treat, mm. gingerbread popcorn. Oh my goodness. I'm going to love that. Taylor also loves popcorn, but I'm not sure he'd like this one. Mm. <laughs> Probably would. I might see if he wants to share it with me. He loves the gingerbread man. <laughs> he loves saying, um, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> so yeah, I'll share that with Taylor. Then, oh, you did get a gift as well. So you did get a little haberdashery item, which is a zip. So the bag pattern is in place of the small business item. That's getting all confused. So here is our pattern, which is the Woodlows bag pattern. It's a super sized bag that's not too big or small. It has a cute detachable key ring on the inside to make reaching for your keys that bit easier. It has a great medley of pockets inside and out. So that's really lovely. It will be perfect for using our additional meter of fabric and maybe other fabrics that we've had in the past. And there's some really great step-by-step -step instructions there. And I assume yeah, so for all of the different pattern pieces, you just have to draw them out because it gives you the measurements for those, which is great. Oh, and there's a nice little section about why the pattern is named the Woodlows pattern. I will have a go at making that. I'm really getting into bag making and getting more and more interested in it. I'm working on a bag at the moment. I've got some others planned. Just something a little bit different to garment sewing, so I shall enjoy that. The... Classic and mini fabric came in two different colours and I am thrilled that I got this one. I didn't even choose it. It just arrived. So whether Hayley picked it or not, or if it was just a complete coincidence, but I got this lovely blue, white and black check. So this is a cotton and polyester blend and it's quite a substantial fabric. It's quite weighty. It's not drapey. It would be ideal, I guess, for a dressing gown or pyjama bottoms. But I am thinking a pair of trousers will look really, really cool in this fabric. So that might be what I make with it. So yes, I got the thread as well. The thread is black thread, which will never come in wrong, will it? So yeah, if you've got any other ideas for what I should do with this, do let me know. But I think... Ooh a jumpsuit just came to mind. Something like the Zadie, but maybe not the Zadie. Some sort of jumpsuit. Ah, trousers or a jumpsuit is definitely the way that I'm going. I think for me, it's a bit too structured for a dress. Definitely would work, but maybe a bit too structured. So yes, trousers or a jumpsuit will be what this becomes. 
So I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything that's in my box this month. I love getting this box through the post every month. It's such a moment of joy when it arrives. It's so exciting opening it up and seeing what's inside, reading all of the interesting and inspirational things in the magazine. I just love it. I love every element of it. And if you would like to get involved and get your first box in January, then you can head over to the So Haley Jane website. You can subscribe using the code Tamlin10 and that will get you 10% off your first box. So that's a bit of a winner, isn't it? And you'll get your first box in January. Start off 2024 in the best way possible. And Haley ships worldwide. So that's awesome too. So yes, I'm going to overlock the edges of this fabric and get it in the pre-wash so I can get sewing with it. ASAP and I hope you've enjoyed watching my video today so if you don't already subscribe I would love it if you could and if you've enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching today I hope you're all really well and I'll see you again soon in my next video happy sewing bye and what is going on with this bit of hair <laughs> it's so exciting open it up open it up